Women's noses really may be helping them sniff out a suitable mate and at the time in their monthly cycle when they're most likely to conceive. But Oberzacher's team had a hunch that women's sense of smell was also doing something else, steering them clear of relatives. To test this, they tried a variation on the smelly t-shirt experiment. Among the t-shirts being raided, Oberzacher placed one belonging to a woman's brother or father. When confronted with the sweat of a family member, the related woman had a strong and strikingly negative reaction. It's actually this dislike of closely related uh, people is a sexual dislike. So this is a sexually repellent odor. Now we actually think that the major role of uh, dislike of similar odors um, would be in incest avoidance because closely related uh, individuals will have a very similar immune system and therefore very similar odors. Incest is a social taboo because it's a biological time bomb, leaving offspring with highly vulnerable immune systems. No wonder nature placed incest avoidance in the hands of a scent so deep that we're barely conscious of it. Evolutionary scientists believe early humans relied on the sense of smell much more than we do today. In ancestral environments, there's a lot of uncertainty about just how closely related you are to others. If people are living in groups where there are extended kin, then you could be fairly closely related to individuals who aren't even called your siblings. So detecting kin was not quite so trivial as just listening to who gets called your brother or your sister. How is it that people detect this information? It turns out that it's through body scent.